What if you could feel virtual objects as if they were real? With the VR glove market projected to reach $1.6 billion by 2026, Meta's latest innovation could change everything. Are these gloves truly revolutionary, or do they come with some serious risks? Let's dive in and explore. What are VR gloves? First off, let's break down what these VR gloves are all about. Essentially, they're designed to give users a more immersive experience in virtual environments. With these gloves, it's possible to feel things like textures, pressure, and even vibrations. Sounds cool, right? Imagine reaching out to grab a virtual object and actually feeling it in your hand. But what does this mean for everyday users? How might these gloves change the way people interact with technology? One of the biggest highlights of these gloves is enhanced immersion. Right now, many VR experiences can feel somewhat flat. Users might see stunning graphics and hear immersive sound, but they often miss a crucial element, the ability to actually feel what's happening in the virtual world. This gap can leave users feeling disconnected. That's where these gloves come into play. By simulating sensations like texture, pressure, and even temperature, they promise to make virtual environments feel much more real. For gamers, this can transform the way they interact with their favorite titles. Imagine playing a fantasy game where you can actually feel the weight of a sword in your hand or the rough texture of a stone wall. Studies show that immersion in gaming can lead to better performance and increased enjoyment. In fact, research from the International Journal of Human-Computer Interaction found that players who engage in immersive technologies report a 30% increase in enjoyment and satisfaction. These gloves could significantly enhance that experience by making every interaction feel genuine. But the benefits of enhanced immersion go beyond just gaming. Industries such as education and training could also see massive improvements. For example, medical students practicing surgical techniques could feel the resistance of tissue as they work through procedures in a virtual environment. This kind of realistic feedback can lead to better skill retention and understanding. According to a study by the Journal of Medical Education, students using immersive VR training reported a 40% increase in confidence when performing real-life procedures. With Meta's VR gloves, the potential to elevate learning experiences is tremendous. Interestingly, these gloves are not just for games. They are primarily aimed at businesses. Many industries such as medicine and engineering stand to gain significantly from realistic simulations. In the medical field, for example, medical students can use these gloves to practice procedures, feeling the textures and pressures they would encounter in real-life situations. This hands-on experience can be invaluable. According to a study published in the Journal of Surgical Education, training with simulation technologies can improve surgical skill retention by up to 50%. By allowing students to feel what they're doing, the gloves could enhance their learning even further. In engineering, the gloves can assist in the design and prototyping process. Engineers can manipulate virtual objects, feeling their dimensions and weights as if they were physical. This kind of interaction can lead to better product design, as engineers can test concepts virtually before moving to physical prototypes. A report by McKinsey & Company found that companies using advanced technologies like VR can reduce product development time by 20 to 30%. With the haptic feedback from the gloves, teams can identify design flaws early, saving time and resources. Beyond medicine and engineering, other sectors such as architecture and training can also benefit. Architects could use the gloves to walk through their designs, feeling spatial relationships in a way that traditional 3D models don't allow. Additionally, training programs for fields like aviation or military could utilize these gloves to create realistic scenarios, enhancing preparedness. A study from the Society of Human Resource Management found that immersive training experiences can lead to a 70% increase in knowledge retention. Overall, the potential applications of these gloves in enterprise settings could drive innovation and efficiency across various industries. Meta is pushing boundaries with its technology. The gloves use advanced soft robotics, which makes them comfortable to wear for long periods. Plus, they have microfluidic systems that help control how the gloves respond to touch. This means they can offer nuanced feedback that feels more like real life. 
This tech is definitely exciting, but it also leads to a question. How long until these gloves become mainstream? And will they live up to the hype? Despite the excitement surrounding Meta's VR gloves, there are some significant downsides to consider, particularly regarding the cost and accessibility. The initial development packages for these gloves are priced around €3,999, which is a substantial investment. For many consumers, this price tag makes the gloves virtually unattainable. In comparison, most VR headsets currently on the market range from 300 to 1500 euros, making these gloves an expensive addition to an already costly setup. The high cost raises questions about the gloves' accessibility for average consumers. While early adopters and businesses may see the value in investing in such technology, the average gamer or tech enthusiast might hesitate to spend nearly 4,000 euros on a pair of gloves. A survey by Statista found that only about 10% of consumers are willing to pay over 1,000 euros for VR equipment. This suggests that, unless prices come down significantly, widespread adoption of these gloves could be limited. There's also the issue of scalability and production. If Meta intends to make these gloves more affordable, they will need to invest in mass production methods that can lower costs. According to a report from the Consumer Technology Association, as technology matures and production scales up, prices often drop. For example, early VR headsets were priced similarly to the gloves, but have since become much more accessible. Until that happens, the gloves may remain a luxury item rather than a mainstream product. Another concern is the technology behind the gloves. While Meta has made impressive advancements, these gloves are still in their early stages of development. Many users have noted that the gloves struggle to perfectly replicate natural hand movement. For example, while they can simulate the sensation of holding objects, the experience may not feel as fluid or intuitive as real-life interactions. Feedback from early testers has highlighted that movements can sometimes feel mechanical, which detracts from the immersive experience that users are looking for. This brings up a critical point about user expectations. When technology fails to deliver on its promises, it can lead to disappointment and frustration. According to a study published in the Journal of User Experience, about 70% of users abandon new technologies if they don't work as expected. If the gloves don't provide a seamless and natural experience, users may become less inclined to engage in VR environments, limiting the technology's potential impact and acceptance. Additionally, there are broader implications for the market. If Meta's gloves do not meet user expectations, it could affect the overall perception of haptic technology. Negative reviews and feedback can deter potential customers, impacting future sales and investments in similar innovations. A survey by Nielsen found that 83% of consumers trust recommendations from friends and family over any form of advertising. If users share negative experiences, it could create a significant barrier to entry for others considering the technology. Addressing these technical challenges will be crucial for Meta to ensure that the gloves not only meet, but exceed user expectations. Lastly, there's considerable skepticism surrounding Meta's investments in the metaverse. The company has reported significant financial losses in its Reality Labs division, with losses reaching nearly $10 billion in 2022 alone. This has raised questions about the viability of the metaverse as a concept. Many industry experts wonder if the investments being made will ever yield profitable returns, and this uncertainty can deter potential investors from supporting new technologies, including Meta's VR gloves. Public perception also plays a crucial role in shaping the future of the metaverse. As more people hear about the financial struggles at Meta, they may become doubtful about the technology's practicality. A recent survey conducted by Gartner found that 60% of consumers are uncertain about the benefits of the metaverse, and only 2% believe it will be a significant part of their daily lives in the next few years. This skepticism can lead to a lack of enthusiasm for adopting new technologies, making it challenging for innovations like the VR gloves to find a market. Moreover, if investor confidence continues to wane, it could slow down the pace of research and development in haptic technology and other related areas. A report from Deloitte indicated that when companies experience financial difficulties, they often cut back on R&D spending, which can hinder innovation. 
For Meta, overcoming this market skepticism is crucial not only for the success of the VR gloves, but also for the broader vision of the metaverse. Addressing concerns transparently and demonstrating the real-world applications of their technology may help shift perceptions and build confidence in future investments. In summary, Meta's VR gloves are a fascinating step forward in haptic technology. They offer exciting possibilities for both gaming and professional training. The idea of feeling virtual objects opens up a world of immersive experiences. However, the gloves also face significant challenges. The high cost, technical limitations, and market skepticism could hold back their potential. It'll be interesting to see how Meta addresses these issues as they continue to develop this technology. So, what do you think? Are these gloves a revolutionary step into the future, or are they a risky gamble? Would you try them out if they were more accessible? Share your thoughts in the comments.